Hi, everyone um, that are checking in. I realize that probably no one is going to be actually joining this live, and that's okay. This is, um, I've only gone live like a couple of times, like ever, on once I think on this channel and maybe once or twice on one of my other channels. And so, um, but it is something that I'm going to be doing more of. And right about this time, right about 8, 8.30ish, I'm going to be starting to do some lives. I'm going to be trying to do them once a week. And they are going to be lives about, um, mostly about health, about keto, about my own journey, my ups and downs, and all of that. And so I hope that you'll be checking in and joining in. So um, here I am. I've got my coffee. Um, I'm actually combining coffee and half and half coffee and chicory. Um, because I'm trying to get off of caffeine and that's kind of helping me at half and half right now. So um, if you're checking in or if you're watching the replay, just go ahead and let me know that you're checking in or that you're watching the replay. Where are you from? Um, are you keto? All that good stuff. So um, let's go ahead and get to the topic. Um, so I, I have been inconsistently keto for a while. And if you follow my blog, even on my podcast, I actually have a podcast way early back when I very first started podcasting about getting back on the ketogenic wagon. I had, I'm just off and on. And I'm really working hard at becoming consistent again. I began keto back in 2017. And... Um, and I, was, I did really, really well. I was actually, I went back and looked at pictures. I actually have files that are like, this is how many days. I was looking really great. And um, then something really um, huge happened in my life. It was, it was a difficulty and, um, and it just knocked my feet out from under me. And I've had a hard time really being consistent ever since. So one of my things for this year, for 2021, I chose the word life. Um, basically like I'm gonna get my life back on track and here are like these 20 things that I need to do in my life to get things back on track and it's not working okay so we are coming up on the end of August and I'm still like, you know I've resolved a couple of the really kind of easy things but you know the diff more difficult stuff not so much and actually in yesterday's video the first one I did yesterday I kind of talked about the fact that I'm gonna be doing Bible studies um, on my blog, and so I begun mapping out. I actually started writing today my newest one, and it's basically on getting control of your appetites because really what it comes down to is it, it comes down to like an appetite that we have that we can't control, and we think we're gonna muscle through, and we don't. That is my life. <laughs> it's been my life for a few years now. And, um, and it's taking it all back to, you know, for the Christian, what is really the foundation of how, how do we get there? So I'm working on that. It's going to be definitely something that's coming out of <laughs> my own present journey. And I'm um, you know, really looking forward to that because as I'm writing it, I'm basically going through it. So like I'm going through it and then I'm writing and then I'm going through it and I'm writing. And so, but what are some practical things that I do um, to keep myself motivated? It's so like when I'm doing really, really good and I'm booking along with it, what are ways that I stay motivated? Or when I get back into that really good headspace and I'm like, yes, let's, let's get going. Um, how do I get going? And then how do I stay motivated? <clears throat> so the first thing that I do, number one, is I get on my fitness pal. And every morning before my kids get up, I create a menu for myself. This is what I'm going to eat. Then I can look and see, you know, how many carbs. Now, I am a total carb keto person. So I'm not going to look at net carbs. I feel like, and some people call it cheating. I wouldn't necessarily call it cheating I, or even really being dishonest to yourself. It's just basically, um, are you going to give yourself wiggle room or not? And there are some people that can do that. There are some people that are fully able to give themselves wiggle room. They have a higher carb toler tolerance. 
they can give themselves that, that wiggle room. I'm not one of those people. Um, I do keto um, very much to help balance my hormones because I have, um, you know, I have imba imbalanced hormones. And so, um, you know, for me, it's not just weight. For me, it's like the whole picture. And so, um, so I don't give myself that wiggle room. So I, I take a look and I see, you know, um, and I, I place it, I adjust it, and then it's like, this is what I'm going to do. The second thing that I do is I, um, I make sure that I have, that I'm stocked up on keto stuff. Now, I don't do keto snacks, and I really try hard not to eat in between meals because, um, and actually part of the reason is, is because when I'm doing really well on keto, I'm going, um, I'm only eating one meal a day because I get, you know, I get to that point where it's like, you know, I'm not really that hungry. And so I can skip breakfast. Then I usually eat between two and three. And then that's my last meal of the day. Every once in a while, like maybe on a Friday, I'll have something in the evenings, but not, not, not so much. And so, um, so, but I try to keep easy keto stuff on hand, like tuna, you know, taco meat in the freezer, salad stuff, because I eat tons and tons of salads, um, you know, bacon, eggs, you know, um, cheese, you know, that sort of thing. Um, the stuff that's really super easy to grab, um, easy to make. And, um, and I try to keep, keep that stuff on hand because that helps, you know, when it's like, I'm really busy and I'm making, you know, usually my children, I have one behind me here who's, who's having fun. Um, but, you know, usually I'm making two to three different meals. Um, you know, if I'm making something for my husband that I know my kids are not going to enjoy, um, rather than, you know, me being frustrated if it's not an issue. I mean, most of the time I make them eat whatever I put on the table. But if it's, you know, one of those things that's like, you know, this is not a, this is a non-issue, you know, I'll make them something separate and then make myself something separate. So I'm making two to three, usually two to three meals for every meal. And um, so I need something that, you know, I can grab and go. That way I'm not making excuses. It's like, well, you know, I ran out of time or I'm, you know, just, you know, I don't feel like it. You know, I'll just eat whatever they're eating. And that is usually what gets me off track. That is usually the thing that derails me. So um, I really have to keep those quick and easy keto things on hand so I don't fall into that trap because then getting out of that can sometimes be very, very difficult and it can take time. Um, so there's that. The third thing that I have found that keeps me motivated is listening to um, um, good keto podcasts um, or, or audiobooks. Um, you know, for me, sitting down and reading, that is definitely a luxury, and it's one that I don't get all the time. But, you know, if I'm doing chores around the house and my kids are, you know, doing their sort of their own thing, um, those are times that I might grab a moment to listen to a podcast or listen to a chapter in an audio, Audible book. Um, I use the Audible app, but there are other also audiobook apps that you can get and with, you know, tons and tons of options. I mean, there's just so much out there. Um, I, and I try to stick to really good authors. So, um, I will have, I actually have a list. I think I have a blog post. I'm pretty sure I have a blog post that I will put in the description of this video that you can check out. Um, but I, um, like as far as podcasters go, Leanne Vogel is really my go-to because, um, first of all, you know, I just like her as a person. Um, I love the fact that she recently gave her life to Christ and I love the story about how that came about. Um, if you have it, if you've followed her and you don't know that story, just, you know, go under her YouTube channel, scroll back just a little bit and you'll find, you'll find that story. Um, it's a just, it's a fabulous story. And, but, you know, apart from that, she's just super knowledgeable. What I also love about Leanne Vogel is, is that she, um, really addresses keto from the standpoint of a woman and a woman who is facing hormone issues. And so, you know, I really fall into that category with her. I will say I have been really, really tempted to join one of her coaching sessions <clears throat> and I have not ruled that option out. Um, I hope it happens one day. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, but I, that helps me to stay motivated because 
um, then, you know, I feel like, you know, my head is fully in the game. <clears throat> and so um, the fourth thing that I feel really helps me to stay motivated is when I'm active. The absolute worst thing. So apart from not having, you know, good keto food on hand that I can quick grab and go when I'm making, you know, other meals for my family. The other thing that can totally derail me is if I'm sleep deprived, plus if I'm sitting around too much. <clears throat> if I don't stay active, if I don't stay on my feet, then I have a tendency to get cravings. And it's an interesting that we never ever crave, you know, a cucumber or <laughs> we never ever crave, you know, a steak or something. We always crave stuff that's not good for us. Um, and usually it's carb filled junk food. And so I, since I don't usually keep that on hand, then, you know, I'm wandering between my refrigerator and my pantry going, you know, gee, I wish I would have bought that bag of chips the other day when I was at the store, you know, um, I just don't keep, usually keep junk food on hand at all for my children or for me. I'm just a super anti junk person, junk food person anyway. So <laughs> then I'm, you know, frustrated and so the best way to really avoid that happening is to get good sleep so getting to bed on time um, and then staying physically active and what I love is that the way that my desk is made I can actually move my laptop up to I have it's like a, a two-tier desk so I can move, move my laptop up and I can actually work standing up I will confess, I don't do that very often. I need to do that more often. That's the only thing I'm going to get back to doing today. Um, so why am I doing this live? So what's the point? Well, a few things. <clears throat> First of all, I am um, I'm sort of moving my channel in a different direction. And I want to talk about that. You can see... Uh, not the last video, but the video before that, and the, actually the two videos before that. Really, I kind of talk about that, about um, where I'm going. So like with my blog, that was really like the first video that I did yesterday. <clears throat> of where is my blog headed? And, and I address my channel a little bit. And then in the second video, I really just talk about this channel. Where am I going? So my blog is really moving towards, sorry for the behind me, but I have, I have a munchkin over here that's, he's doing his own video. <laughs> I can hear it. He's doing stop motion content. I have, let's check and see. I've got so much content on my blog, <clears throat> so much free stuff, you know, free printables and just so much stuff. So I, yeah, I have almost 700 posts y'all and there will be more content coming out like fresh content and mostly good morning girls um, posts. And so, but I feel like with that much content, I really don't see, I don't see the point in just continuing to write more, especially since my passion, the way that I love to write is long form content. So, you know, not huge giant books, but like, you know, smaller, smallish Bible studies. Um, although some may argue that my Ephesians one isn't very smallish. Um, so, but I love doing that. And I love doing the studies um, through chapters and verses going, or through chapters and books of the Bible, going verse by verse and word by word. That is really what I love to do. So that's where I'm going to be focusing. On. If that's my passion, that's where I'm going to go. But my YouTube channel, I'm actually taking in a completely different direction. So one could almost even say that my YouTube channel isn't going to greatly reflect what my blog is. On my blog, I have talked about keto and I've talked about parenting and homeschool, not marriage so much. Um, <clears throat> I just don't really talk a lot about marriage, probably because my husband and I have a very unusual, unusual marriage. Um, and that's not, and that don't say that derogatory in any way. We have a very healthy marriage and, and everything, but we did get married when we were older. So, you know, we are definitely an unconventional in many ways. Um, <clears throat> but um, I had, I don't talk a lot about that and I don't really feel like that's what my blog is for. But I do think that that's what my channel can be for. And so I feel like 
you know, all of those things reflect my life, right? I am a Christian. I'm a Bible study leader. I write Bible studies, but I am also ketogenic. I also homeschool. Uh, obviously, I'm a mom. Obviously, I'm a wife. And so, um, and, and I love to clean. I love to organize. You should ask my sister about that sometime. I used to drive her crazy when we were kids with the organizing um, and the cleaning. I love to do that. So, you know, when all of my friends were like working at, you know, Applebee's and, um, you know, in the food service industry, I was cleaning houses because that's what I love to do. Um, and I love kids. I, you know, I've got tons of childcare in my, you know, in my background, working at daycares and um, teaching Sunday school at church. I've always worked with kids. And so I feel like, you know, that's a huge part of my life that I don't feel fits on my blog, but it does fit here. So this is kind of where the channel is going, right? And um, so um, I know that in, my, that in my video where I talked about my channel, I was like, oh, I'm probably going to be a little bit more random with my uploading. And that's probably true. Although I, I am going to try to do at least one video a week plus live where my lives are going to be my keto check-in where I'm probably going to talk about keto. I'm definitely going to be giving you an update of how well I've been doing. I'll be super honest, even though it's probably going to kill me sometimes to, to be honest, but I really hope that that's going to help to keep me accountable. Um, I've done this a few times. I will say I've done this a few times where on rumble, I had a channel where I talked about, you know, where I was, it was sort of my check-in. I actually opened up a channel here, like literally no one knows this. <laughs> and I'm gonna close it today, where it was pretty much the same thing. It was my way to hold myself accountable. But I feel like here I have I have a following and I want to be I want to be authentic about it. And I feel like it does make people feel better when you know you stumble and fall and you're and you're authentic and you're honest about it. Um so, so that's what that that's what that's going to look like. So, hopefully, one to two times a week, I can do um, a video where I just edit it and I um, and I upload it, and then one time a week come here and do a live. And I'm hoping that the more I do lives, people will check in and we can you know chat about how well we're doing. Um, so, some uh, video ideas that I have, you know, obviously, I'm going to be talking about my adrenal fatigue. I'm going to sort of give some background into you know how that all came about um, and what I have done <clears throat> along the way to get to healing. Where am I at on that journey? Um, but I'm also going to be doing some homeschool stuff. You know, some I did a clean with me. My last one was like a clean with me. I'm going to be doing another one of those today, tackling my mudroom, which is a very appropriate term right now. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. Um, <clears throat> in my laundry room. Another fun place. Yeah. Sarcastically speaking, it's driving me crazy. Um, but I'm cleaning those two rooms today. So y'all are going to be joining me. Um, <clears throat> but also doing some, like, you know, organize with me. Uh, my, my kids' room. Um, you, you know, talking, you know, like I said, doing some homeschool ones. Give you guys a glimpse of our homeschool when we finally start back to homeschooling. Um, some cook with me. So I'm going to be doing some keto prep, right? I'm going to take you along on that journey with me. When I do homeschooling, I'm going to be definitely doing more cooking ahead of time again. So I'm going to be doing some of that, like, you know, meal preps for my kids, you know, for the rest of my family. I want to start using my crock pot for y'all. I have a crock pot and I legit only use it to do bone broth. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to do some more with my crock pot. I'm just not in the habit. So y'all are going to help me with that. It's going to be part of your job as my follower here on YouTube. Help me get more in touch with my crock pot. Um, also doing like a day in my life. Also doing some what do I eat in a day. Um, <laughs> that's of course going to be when I'm more consistent with keto because y'all don't want to y'all don't want to know what I eat in a day when I'm not keto. Um, actually, it's not really that bad, and I don't usually eat a lot in general, but it's just that what I eat doesn't do me any favors as far as, you know, hormone <laughs> balancing and weight control and all of that. So, um, so yes, those are some ideas that I have. I also want to sort of delve into, 
you know, what do we do as a family? So like, you know, what, what movies do I watch? What games are allow, video games do I allow my kids to play? But also sort of on the reverse of that, like what are our standards? Like what do we do? What do we not allow in our home? Um, what are some other ideas that I have? I had them, oh, the thing fell down. That's why I can't find it. I'm looking up here at my, at my bulletin board and I can't find it. So um, talking about, you know, what is our um, belief about the Easter Bunny and about Santa Claus, um, about Halloween. Now they don't, we don't really, they don't really celebrate Halloween here like they do in the States. I mean, some people do, it's mostly young people, but it's not a thing. Uh, really, the Mardi Gras is more of a thing. Well, it's the sort of Croatian, you know, version of Mardi Gras. They don't call it Mardi Gras, but, um, you know, so some of these things, like what, what do we do? Like, do my kids color Easter eggs? Do we do Easter baskets? Um, stuff like that. So, you know, talking about some of these things, and I don't know, I mean, they're just like, I legit have millions of ideas of things we can do. Um, and uh, so that's just kind of where things are at with this channel. Um, I really wanted to sort of take you into sort of like, you know, the behind the scenes in my home. Not that I think that we're like, all that interesting of people because really we're super laid back people and probably most <laughs> for the most part our lives are probably really not all that interesting but you know i do think that there are i don't know i think that inviting people in you know into our home and you know seeing kind of behind the scenes in our home you know i don't know we can offer something i suppose anyone can offer anything right so before i close out this um, super random live and I think that's you know what YouTube lives are a little bit for you can get a little bit more rambly with a live than you can with a, a different video but before I close this out I just want to say that um, I, I thank you so much for following my channel and I am so glad that you are here um, I, uh, if you find some interesting content, you know, be sure to share it with your friends. I'm going to be finishing uploading my podcast today. The last two episodes are going up before the end of the day. And then my, my full podcast will be uploaded. I'm going to be fixing my homepage so that you have playlists there. So it's a little bit easier to find stuff. Um, I have a podcast playlist so you can find just the podcast if that's really what you want to listen to if you want to just sort of go through it and listen to all the various episodes in that podcast I'm not podcasting anymore um I, it just didn't fit my my um season of life right now that is not my season of life right now this has become my this has become my life motto at least for this part of my life that is not my season of life right now um and uh, so you can find you can find the podcast there. I have lots of homeschool, or not a lot. I guess lots is not really accurate. I have several homeschooling videos. Um, I have um, some um, Good Morning Girls content that's rather old, but you know you might find it interesting. Um, I don't know what else I have. I have some keto. I have some keto and fasting. Um, videos, there will be a lot more of that, of course, coming up. Um, some probably that I'll just upload, some that I just don't want to get the information. I don't want to get, you know, bogged down in, um, in like, say, a live, because, you know, if it's important information, it can get bogged down in a live really quickly. So thank you for listening all the way through. If you got all the way to the end, congratulations. I don't know, maybe I should say I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and, uh, I am hopefully going to get on a schedule so that I can say my lives are going to be at this time on this day. That's my goal. That is definitely my goal. But for now, this is kind of the way it is. It's like, you know, you just never know. I'll pop on. So be sure to click the bell if you ever want to join me. Um, also, if you want to get notified um, of any other videos that go up on my channel, of course, you know, do all the things, you know, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, and, uh, I will see you back here, I guess, next time. <laughs> like I said, two more, two more podcast videos are going up to, I'm probably going to, I don't know if my clean with me will actually go up today or not. 
after I edit it, I'm going to try to do some voiceover. I'm trying to do some fun things, you know, with my videos so that they're not just me sitting in front of the screen talking. Um, <clears throat> so I might try to do some voiceover on my clean with me video for today. Um, and um, I don't know. We'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know, could be fun. All right. See you back here again next time. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.